Hello everybody, Miss Lauren here, your favorite librarian, and I'm coming at you with another activity. Today we are making our own DIY geodes. We're going to grow a geode. So I hope you brought your patience for this activity because this one's going to take a while. So for those of you who don't know what geodes are, I went ahead and looked, in, looked them up. I'm going to put some pictures on the screen of some geodes for you guys. So a geode is basically a geological secondary formation that is basically just a really crystallized pretty rock and we're going to make our own. So for this activity you're going to need quite a lot of things. Most of them you will find in your activity bag. Mine's very empty right now but I'm going to show you what we need. So in this little container, hopefully you can see it, is your borax. Now if you have sensitive skin please make sure to wear gloves because this can be very itchy on your skin so just be careful with that. The second thing you're going to need is a cup, one cup, of boiling water. Please, please, please make sure that you get a parent or a guardian's help or an older sibling's help with boiling your water. You will also need food coloring, a pipe cleaner, you might recognize these from one of our other activities, a pipe cleaner. Now these are the metallic pipe cleaners because apparently they make nicer geodes. You will also need a large jar, glass, or pitcher. I am using these disposable um, coffee cups. They are like uh, cardboard, styrofoamy things, but you can use whatever cup you have. I'm just using disposable because again, we're gonna be putting this borax in there and borax is a chemical, so I figure if it's disposable, then I can just throw it out when I'm done or use it for other crafts. That's fine too. Um, you're going to need a dishcloth, which I don't have with me, and you're going to need a skewer or a butter knife or a chopstick. I'm just going to use these plastic spoons. I think that'll work fine. And you will also need a, or some kind of ribbon. So I have this curling ribbon right here, so I'm going to use that. Let's see. So our directions say the color of the pipe cleaner is what decides the color of your crystals. So since I have a silver pipe cleaner, I'm assuming that my pipe, that my geode will come out as like white, which is kind of boring, which is why I have this food coloring. So the first step that you're going to do, you need to shape your pipe cleaner. You want to make it into some sort of little like circle-y thing. Now I decided to make it like circle-y. Kind of like that. Hopefully you can see that. Alright, so now that we have shaped our pipe cleaner, we're going to go on to the next step. And we are going to use this string. We're going to tie it onto the end of this pipe cleaner. Just like this. Nice and tied. And then you're going to tie the other end of your string to your popsicle stick or skewer or whatever you're using for the anchor. So basically what's going to happen is we're going to tie this geode that we made to whatever kind of stick that you're using so that the geode can be submerged in the water in the cup. But you want to make sure that you tie this short enough that the geode won't touch any of the sides of your cup. So I'm going to tie it about here because I think when I lean this one into the cup, if I tie it right there, it's not going to touch. So just tie, oops, just tie a nice little knot. It doesn't have to be too, too tight, just enough that it's connected to your spoon. And then make sure that when you put the spoon across your cup, 
that your pipe cleaner doesn't touch the sides. So I just wanted to show you a little bit better what my cup looks like. You can kind of see that my pipe cleaner is not touching the sides. we're going to take the hot water from wherever you boiled it and you're going to pour it into the cup please be careful during this step Now that you have your water in your cup, we are going to add the borax and the food coloring to our cup. All right, so now that we have our hot water in our cup, we are going to pour the borax into our cup. So open your little container, pour the borax into your cup, like so. And make sure to take a spoon and you're going to stir the borax until it all mixes together with the water. Once that is all mixed together and it looks really nice, it's still steaming so please be careful with the hot water. You're going to add your food coloring. So I'm going to put just a couple drops in. Uh, the more food coloring you put in, the darker your geode will be. So, put a couple more. Close this. Close it up. Be careful with food coloring because this will stain your skin and anything. So, just make sure that you have everything stirred together really nicely. Mine is such a nice dark green. And then what you're going to do... You're going to take your pipe cleaner and you're going to put it into the water so it is submerged in your boraxy water. All right. Thank you guys so much for watching this make your own geode craft uh, video. I would love to see pictures of your geodes if you'd like to put them down below or send them in. Um, that would be awesome. I will see you guys again sometime very, very soon. Bye.
Thank you.